When Carol Hammerly founded the program in 1973, she had to start from scratch. My first practice was probably the most eye-opening experience for me because I had, you know, I had this whole lesson plan all made up for the first practice, only to realize that maybe out of the 12, maybe four, four had played in high school. Her first four seasons were losing ones. But in the late 70s, when the WIAA began sponsoring a girls' state tournament, things changed. That was the big, big turnaround, and we went from 4-17 and 17 to 14-9. and nine. So that, that was huge. The Phoenix haven't had a losing season since. Hammerly grew the program, guiding it through the move to Division I in the late 80s. I'll be honest with you, there was a huge um, motivation factor. It was called fear. <laughs> <laughs> because you know you're so successful at one level and okay now we're division one and how are we going to do and she did quite well leading the phoenix to their first two ncaa tournaments in 94 and 98. after that second one though Carol Hammerly. it's time to move on hammerly took a job with northern illinois current coach kevin borseth was hired to replace her we're going to work as hard as we can to make sure that the tradition is carried. And Carol like had said when she took the job, she said, take care of my baby. And that's always been her baby. It was difficult, but I knew I was turning it over to the best coach possible. And that's proved true. Borseth and Matt Boland, who had a five-year run as head coach, have combined for 16 NCAA tournament bids. I'd like to think that we've done a good job of upholding um, her wishes and the tradition continues to grow. Meanwhile, Hammerly's legacy lives on, most notably on the court at the Crest Center, which bears her name. He had a shirt that said, if not for them, and that's out there. And it was for the people that, and the coaches that initially started uh, women's basketball. I think Carol's one of those people, if not for her, we would be in the position that we're in today. I only wish I would have known then the impact all this was having on women's basketball, and the winning tradition of the Phoenix right now.